dear students under the topic total differential coefficient here we have problem 3 now here the differential function u is given in terms of three variables in our previous problems we dealt with a differential function given in ter terms of two variables x and y now here in this problem the differential function u is given in terms of three variables x y and z and the variables x, y, z are given in terms of differential function with respect to the variable t. Now here they are asking us to find the total differential coefficient du by dt. And we already saw the theory part where we learned that the when the function u is a differential function of x, y, z and x, y, z are differential function with respect to t then the total differential coefficient of u is given by du by dt is equal to dou u by dou x multiplied by dx by dt plus dou u by dou y multiplied with dy by dt. And now here we have another variable z. We will also have plus dou u by dou z multiplied with dy by dt. Now let us take and write this formula. So I have taken and I have written du by dt here. Now you, in this we have to find each of this and substitute in order to find du by dt. So first of all we shall find dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y and dou u by dou z. For this first we should consider this given u. So u is what x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So let us take that and write. So u is equals x squared plus z y squared plus z squared. Now in this we have to find dou u by dou x first. So this one we are finding this one. So dou u by dou x. So that will be equal to we have to partially differentiate this with respect to x. So in that case y squared and z squared will be treated as constant. So if these two becomes constant on differentiation these two terms will become zero. So we have to differentiate only this x square and we know that the differentiation for x square is 2x. So this is what we get. In a similar manner we have to find dou u by dou y. So that will be equal to we have to differentiate u partially with respect to y. So x and z will be treated as constant and so they will become 0 and on differentiation of y squared we get 2y. And also we have to find dou u by dou z which is equal to differentiation of u with respect to z and in that case x squared and y squared will become constants and they uh, become 0 after differentiation and the differentiation of z squared is equals to z. So this is what we get uh, that is dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y and dou u by dou z. Now in the formula we have found this this and this so now we have to find dx by dt for which we must see what is x given in the question it is given as e to the power t so let us take and write that so x is equals e to the power t now we have to find dx by dt which is equal to the differentiation of this what is the differentiation of e part t it is e part t only Yes. So now we have obtained this also. Next we have to obtain dy by dt. So what is y given in the question? We have to check out for that. So y is e to the power t sin t. So let us take and write that. So e to the power t sin t. Now we have to differentiate y with respect to t and we get dy by dt to be equal to. Now here we have to use uv method for differentiation as e part t and sin t are in product. So this will be treated as u and this will be treated as b. So first what we have to do we should have u as it is so e power t and differentiate v. So what is the differentiation of sin t it is cos t plus Next we have to have v as it is. So sin t will remain the same and differentiate u. What is the differentiation of e power t? It is e power t. So therefore dy by dt is e power t cos t plus e power t uh, sin t. 
so this is what we obtain in a similar manner we should find uh, dz by dt that is z is given as what is given in the question it is given as e power t cos t so let us take and write that so it is e power t cos t so we have to find dz by dt so that will be equal to first we shall uh, this has to be treated as u and this as v so we shall have u as it is so e power t differentiation of cos t will be negative sin t so that negative sign i will write in the front plus now we should have cos t as it is and we have to differentiate e power t so but we know that the, uh, the differentiation of e power t is e power t itself so it will remain the same now we have to take each of this that we have found and substitute in this formula so our du by dt will be equal to so du by dt is equal to first was what dou u by dou x what is dou u by dou x it is 2x so let us write that so 2x multiplied with dx by dt what is dx by dt it is e power so we have to multiply that with e power t and then plus do u by do y what is do u by do y it is 2y so plus 2y multiplied with dy by dt what is dy by dt this one so it is e power t cos t plus e power t sin t so this we have written and then we have plus do u by do z so what is that plus do u by do z is 2z so 2z so that is 2z multiplied with we have dz by dt so what is dz by dt it is here okay so this one we have to substitute e to the power t cos t okay uh, i mean i have written this in the front so e to the power t cos t and then because we have a negative sign here i have rewritten this first and then minus e to the power t sin t so now this du by dt will be equal to now what will it be first we will multiply these two so 2 x e to the power t and then plus this multiplied with this so it will be so plus 2y e to the power t cos t and then we have to multiply this term with this term so plus 2y e to the power t sin t and then we have to multiply 2z with this term so plus 2z e to the power t cos t and then minus this term has to be multiplied with this term so 2z e to the power t sin t now next what we have to do is if we can we we should have our answer completely in terms of t so we have to replace this x y and then z okay so all this with x y z given in the question in the question what is x given as e power t and what is y e power t sin t and z is equal to e power t cos t so wherever we have x y z in that place we have to replace with this so at the place of x we have to replace with e power t so here what will happen we will get e power t so that e power t will get multiplied with this e power t and we have to uh, uh, like we have to add the powers so e power t multiplied with e power t will be e to the power 2t plus 2 multiplied with what is y y is e to the power t sin t it is here y is e to the power t sin t so we have to replace this y by e to the power t sin t so but uh, that e to the power t and this e to the power t will get multiplied and it will become e to the power 2t and then sin t cos t plus here also e to the power t sin t we will have so e power t and e power t will get multiplied and it will become 2 e to the power 2t and sin t into sin t will become sin square t okay and then 
plus this 2 z e power t cos t. But what is z? z is equals, we have here e to the power t cos t. So when we substitute that, we will be having 2 e to the power t and e to the power t will get multiplied and it will become two, uh, e to the power 2t and cos t and cos t will get multiplied and it will become cos square t minus 2 and here also e to the power z is what e to the power t cos t. So e to the power t and e to the power t will get multiplied and it will become e to the power 2t then we will have cos t and then we have sin t. Now if we observe here this is plus 2 e to the power 2t sin t cos t. This is minus 2 e to the power 2t sin t cos t. So these two terms will get cancelled because they, this is positive and this is negative. And we will be left out with this 2 e to the power 2t and this fr from these two terms we can take e to the 2 e to the power 2t common. So, plus 2 e to the power 2t. So, here we will be left out with sin square t and then plus here with cos square t. So, but what is sin square t plus cos square t? By the trigonometric identity, we know that this value is 1. So, this will be equal to 2 uh, e to the power 2t plus 2 e to the power 2t multiplied with 1. So, it will be same. So, now we and when we add these two, we get uh, 4 e to the power 2t. And so, the solution will be 4 e to the power 2t. So, therefore, du by dt is equal to 4 e to the power 2t is the answer. So, this is the total differential coefficient uh, for the given u. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.